Hensley, and I'm the school programs coordinator here at the North Carolina Zoo. Welcome to our zoo science. <laughs> Um, you, hopefully you've been hanging out with us, learning a lot of really cool stuff that you can do at home for science. And today, I'm going to teach you a little bit about something we do at the zoo to learn about our animals and to make sure that they have a healthy and enriched life here at the North Carolina Zoo. Now, this is something that we've had keepers do, we've had volunteers help us with, and even students um, at schools, and it's called an ethogram. And an ethogram is basically a sheet of data that we're able to write a specific animal down and then observe the behaviors that that animal does throughout a certain period of time during the day. Now, the one that I have is only for three minutes, but people have done it where they've been out for 30 minutes. Um, but the shorter amount of time that you do it, more of the times during the day uh, to kind of observe the animals is best. So we're over here at our chimpanzee habitat, and hopefully you are seeing some of our animals move around in here. We have some um, babies that are hanging out with their moms. Um, but this is a great place because there is a, a big social dynamic of animals over here for us to kind of learn what their day is like. So what I'm going to do and what you can do at home is that you can make, um, I'm going to be putting up a a sample ethogram sheet for you all to print out if you'd like or make one if you'd like as well and you're going to set up shop somewhere and observe something either your pet or you can observe a family member if you really want to and it's going to give you a little snippet as to kind of what their daily life is so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to look for our chimpanzees and then over three minutes on my stopwatch every 15 seconds so every 15 seconds that it hits on that stopwatch, and it's even written on here as well, but hello, <laughs> I'm going to write down what one of our chimpanzees is doing. So if I start right now, we have one of our chimpanzees right here interacting with me. And you can see even behind that is another chimpanzee grooming. And that's a really good behavior to see because we see interaction between the chimpanzees there's interaction between me and the chimpanzees and positive interaction at that as well. So I would be writing down my friend and I would say grooming, or O-O-M-I-N-G, and then put an X that I see that at 15 seconds, it's been 30 seconds, put it as an X again, they're still doing the same thing. And then I would continue to do that for three minutes. And every behavior that they would do, I would write down if they had like another one. So if they started to walk, like he's starting to kind of pick up stuff down here, then I would write foraging. It's really fun to do. And the great thing is that we're able to learn how our animals interact with each other and what they do every single day so that we can better take care of them and give them the most enriching time here at the North Carolina Zoo. Now, everybody go out there, Start observing some animals or family members. See if anybody does anything interesting. From here, I'm Susie here at the North Carolina Zoo. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.